For those of you who don't know me personally, I grew up on Crash Bandicoot, and I remain fond of the character himself, Ripper Root, and most notably, Injin! PL12. His top goal in life appears to be serving Dr. Cortex and is quite loyal to him. However, in Crash Twin Sanity, he expressed willingness to put his own greed ahead of this loyalty. It's currently unclear what's more important to him. His top complication is going to be the very fact he is a cyborg. Some injuries will require a technology check instead of a treatment check, maybe even both, especially if it's an injury to his noggin. He's also well known for masochistic responses to physical harm, and I say responses, he doesn't seem to actively seek self-harm, but rather enjoys it when it comes his way. This may be better considered as an aspect of role-playing engine as opposed to a true complication. Stats, I took some shots in the dark on this one. Zero strength, do you see him punching wooden crates open like his furry nemesis? Negative one fighting, he's nothing without his giant robots. Stamina three, he repeatedly survived the destruction of the giant robots he pilots, and in tag team racing can survive repeated hits from Crash himself. These count for something. Intelligence, even if you believe I put too much here, this should remain his highest stat. He's one of them super scientists, like me. Dodge and parry, since there's nothing in his fighting and agility, I had to give him something to work with. Some GMs might allow a vehicles check for him in place of dodge. Then there's will, and I'm sure you're quite curious why that fluctuates. This is because he's only brave when armed. If he's unarmed, he may as well be a kitten that makes fun high-pitched noises if Crash threatens to punch him. Cyborg. Based on the ending of the fights against him in Crash 2 and 3, I'm willing to believe that he can indeed survive in space. Now, this is based on the giant robot engine head in Crash Bandicoot 3. Game masters using this as a boss fight describe bullets, rockets, and energy balls flying at the players all at once as they make their dodge checks. This one had it all. If you're wondering why I have such a high number on flight, this machine is fought above the moon. We need the flight this high to get the robot off Earth to start with. Based on the nitro field version of Engine's lab, I would assume Engine keeps at least two more robots in the hangar. I put three, but you could lower that to two and give him what he has in Crash Team Rumble as an alternate power set if you want to make him a player, or otherwise carry out the fight after the big bot go boom. Expertise Engineering Most of the time when I have a character like this, I just give them technology. I mean, if you look under the technology skill and what it can be used for, it's pretty broad. But today, I feel like mimi mimicking, goodness, the sample gadget here. This just feels right for this one. Intimidation. That's your head rocket and or your size when in a giant robot. Contacts and connections. Embryo might not be exactly his best friend, but surely he's on decent enough terms with Entropy. In all likelihood, though, he would ask Dr. Cortex himself for aid if needed. As to that equipment, I only took Engine's battleship from Twin Sanity, where I proceeded to make a slew of assumptions. I believe half the weight of that vessel is just more rockets, and I would assume the Rhinos count as personnel. Perhaps this is also where he's designed and stored a WMDs. Engine as a character has a lot of unknowns surrounding him, and can be a fascinating character to work with. I think players who just want to recruit every NPC would especially love him.